Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long I absolutely adore that screen right there. Right, let's get into it. Now, this is Final Fight CD on the Sega Mega CD or Sega CD, dependent upon where you're from. Now, it's based on the 1989 Capcom fighter, side-scrolling fighter of the same name that was ported to the Super Nintendo originally in 1990. This one um, is ported themselves uh, by Sega. Now, as you can tell, it's got a it's got a CD soundtrack. It's actually a remixed version of the original um, arcade soundtrack. Now I don't know if Sega's idea was when they released this to kind of one up um, the SNES um, or the the Super Famicom, which seems a little unfair because you know the the SNES one was what nineteen ninety. Now I had that as a launch title, and yeah, it was disappointing in the sense they had fewer enemies on screen. I mean, it's a very very early game, so that makes sense. It was only one player and one character was missing entirely. All of that has been rectified on this version. It's two player simultaneous and you can play as the missing character. Now I'm going to skip this, although it is worth mentioning that um, we're going to save, um, is it Cody's? I get confused with the names because they were renamed, weren't they? Um, Cody's girlfriend or something and guys like, who's that? She's my friend too. Well, you didn't recognize it, did you? Now for the purpose, oh, it's got an extra mode, as you can see, time attack, which is what it says, which is basically how long, no, you've got a time limit and to survive to the end and see how many bad guys you can take with you. Right, let's skip that. Loading times, to be fair, aren't terrible on it. Now, yeah, call me a pussy, but as I say, playing uh, and talking at the same time aren't my bag, baby. So let's go with five and exit, right. Obviously, originally this was going to be what Street Fighter, not this version, the arcade Street Fighter '89. But because the original Street Fighter game wasn't that successful, they changed it. Now, this uh, played this in Westwood Ho. This was a you know a game of my childhood. Absolutely loved it. Right, guy. Yeah, so it was Cody and guy. Yeah, there we go. And Hagger, who's the mayor, and uh, apparently he has a penchant for not wearing shirts because obviously his daughter and his bird have been stolen. Now uh, we're going with Guy, the one who was missing from, was he? Yeah, he was the one who was missing from the original SNES version. Super Famicom version, if you will. Right, music is absolutely fun, bad, delicious on this. Right, so what are my controls? Right, so that's the Mad Gear Gang. You press both your controls at once, because you've got jump and punch. Clearly, based on, you know, I'm playing this on my Raspberry Pi, by the way. Clearly, you know, they stole that sound effect from Kung Fu movies, which is cool. Press them both at the same time. I'm having trouble with that. Oh, normally if you press them both at the same time, there you go, I have to be closer to the enemies. You do that, but it didn't then, but doesn't it take, I thought it took, yeah, it does, it takes your health. Now he was the coolest badass one. Obviously he showed up in the Street Fighter Alpha series. This is on everything, by the way, Amiga, Tyrus, D, Spectrum, Commodore, Amstrad, Game Boy Advance, this, Super Nintendo, you name it, it got a port. But yeah, this was just something else back in the day, more so the arcade game. Now, this was considered to be arcade perfect. And while it, you know, fixes a lot of the problems from the SNES version, it's not. Uh, it suffers from the limited colour palettes of the Mega Drive and the Mega CD. The backgrounds aren't as detailed as the Super Nintendo version. But, come on, you can do this by the way. Keep them off screen and you can just keep standing there and twatting them. I would like to call it screen tear fisticuffs right shit oh there's nothing in that bin right okay yeah now the other thing is um while this may have more limited backgrounds and stuff like that uh is it roxy and poison are in this version they were changed in the um super nintendo version into uh two blokes but they're in this version they just don't have such revealing clothes because this was considered quite a gritty and adult game in the uh, how far we've come mind in the arcades and not aimed at kids to be perfectly honest, I doubt my parents even knew I was playing it. Or, would have looked at it and said, those two characters? I don't want my child exposed to that. I always find that lanky wanker comical. Right. Oh yeah, jump kick, forgot about that. So 
sorry, I got crunchy pad. Knives. Oh, bollocks, forgot to get food from the bin. Wank. Right. But it is what it is. If you think about it, the number of games this inspired and influenced, because yeah, there were beaters, you know, like look at Double Dragon and stuff like that at the time. But as I said, this was kind of considered to be a little bit more gritty. Look at this. That's what we call Amazon over packaging right there. So I think this defines that, well, obviously Streets of Rage was, you know, oh shit, inspired by this. I prefer it to be perfectly honest. Maybe because there was none of this at the time. Or Final Fight Guy, which was that, that still wasn't too clear, was it? So it, it gave me what I wanted. I had a rumour that it was, Final Fight was licensed to the Mega Drive before this, way before this, like 1991, and then they lost the licence, which is why they made Streets of Rage to kind of, well, not get back at them, just cash in. And cash in they did, because it's brilliant, and I'm glad they did. There you go. Still warm, who knew? Now, apparently, Hagger's going to clean up the town, but he's talking about the bag rise, all the shit in the background he couldn't give a fuck about. Lazy mayor. Lazy mayor. I'm guessing as well, the inclusion in Street Fighter 2 of twatting... Oh, hang on, there we go. It's the boss. Twatting cars as bonus levels is totally stolen from this. Which makes sense if you think of the um, the actual Street Fighter connection between the two. But I love this. Now, there's more bad guys on the screen than the snares, and so far I haven't detected any slowdown. Didn't back in the day, but that's not to say it's not there because it's been a while. Come here. So he does his standard. I mean, it's super shallow, but we didn't notice that shit when we were kids. Oh, I'm look, I'm moonwalking. Right, so yeah, he, he, he you know lowers your health. Ow, and then jumps back into the fray because he's a fucking pussy. There we go, knife. Ow. That's why Streets of Rage has got it over it. You keep the knife. Or was that the second one? I don't know. I was playing it on the Master System earlier on. There we go, health active. Oh, you pussy. Alright, come on. There we go, that's Roxy. Oh, they just made her skirt longer. Is that it? I hardly call that, you know, much of a change to the character. Or is she wearing cycling shorts? Oh, this one is annoying, let's say that. Sweet. Look at that. Hammer time. It was what's not to love about this when you're a kid, you know, the whole kung fu. Look how fast my fist goes, motherfucker. You gonna go away one more time? No, you're gonna die is what you're gonna do. Sweet. Oh, little glitch there. I always thought that was an iron bar when I was a kid, and this goes for the arcade and the SNES version stopping you from going, but it turns out they just locked the screen. Right, subways. This is, I know it's earlier on. Oh, by the way, the missing level, that's another difference between this and the SNES version. Is it the industrial level? I don't know, that's in this. Right, come on. Yeah, this is my favorite level. Boom, boom, boom. I love the way that you rain the drain pipe straight down, which I've lost. Ow. So again, I couldn't tell you if there is no slowdown stuff like that, because I don't know, does it, how accurately does the pie, you know, emulate it? Oh. Uh, we gonna get on the train yet? No, we got food. Oh, that was coffee. Shit. It always reminds me of Andre the Giant. Oh, you can bowl them, by the way. Um, oh, apparently the moves are a little slower in this one, the combos and stuff. It's been so long since I've played the other versions, I don't know how you know entirely true that is. But everyone says it is. To be fair, if you've never played another version, you wouldn't notice, would you? Sweet. Go on. Oh, that works. Twatty, 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 stab in the same move. Not many, you know, fighters from back in the day, side scroller fighters, I should say, so it would allow that. Right. But then, to be fair, how many were there before this? Street, no, Street Smart was, no, Street Smart was 1989. Right, check it out. Damn unions haven't got hold of this train, it's still running. Ooh, I always definitely prefer or recommend him over the other bloke. And I never got on with Hagger. Oh, fuck. Oh well. 
I love that bit. I'm going to call it Quit Stairs. I was going to say Street Fighter. Final Fight CD. My favourite version. More accurate to the arcades than the, um, the SNES version. But, and don't hold this against it. You know, one or two minor niggles mean it's, it's not as, you know, as good or accurate as it pretends to be. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.